guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes, two and three of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. So let's go ahead and get started with episode two and three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> No, oh my god, look how cute he looks. <laughs> well, I mean, you were helping her look for the keychain, so. I mean, but she's being a good girlfriend, though. <laughs> My thing is, like, what are her parents going to say oh, when they come home? <laughs> That's nice. Don't think of anything dirty. No dirty thoughts. Just just take a regular... <laughs> oh my god. Right? Domino? <laughs> Poor baby. There is one moment for this second half of the show. Um, I am really, truly excited to see. It's not only the last episode, because psh, anime Twitter was freaking out over that. There was another episode several weeks prior to where I was like, oh my freaking God. And so at the time of that, I was still, I think I was like halfway done with season one. And I was just like freaking out. But nobody, none of my subs, anybody was like, hey, when you get to season two, the second half, this is the part. I need you to be, like, the most anticipated part. So, if it, whatever it is, don't tell me. Let me find out on my own. And then just, when we get to those moments, just be like, oh, it's that moment. Because, of course, knowing me, I am going to be like, is it this? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I mean, those were what? <laughs> I mean, you could be fine. You just, exactly. <gasps> Puppy! Oh my god. <laughs>
damn, not a His poor balls. His poor dick. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and, and then resisting the temptation. You, you don't. You, oh, that is cute. Oh my god. I want one. About to go on Amazon and look that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby that's so sweet no Well, remember, she is a hungry girl. Yamada. It's kind of like me in a way. Maybe. No, I don't see that. Sure, shoot. You can always talk to him about anything. Mm. Yeah. What did you actually do? Yamada. Oh. No, no, no. Oh! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, let it out. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> Once again, fucking couple. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It could be just, you know, 
not overthinking things, not only that, but just a whole bunch of things. You have a lot of things on your mind, and that's okay. That too. It, it really is. I thought that was my fault. <laughs> right? Plus, he's wearing your clothes. Your mom might have a fit. <laughs> Right, and now is also time to think horny thoughts. Seeing how tall she is with her mom, once again, me and my mother. Because literally when you look at the dynamic between me and my mom, I am uber tall as fuck. I literally am like the same height as my father and my mom. <laughs> Cutie little shorty. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. Oh. Okay. You got to get out of here. <laughs> Get home safely. Oh. Oh my god. Hello, sir. It is a Titan. <laughs> Not the light. <laughs>
you're more than a special normal friend to her. Uh, it's true, yeah. Are you getting sick? Damn. Your cast, you, you break your arm. Cast all good, and now you're getting sick. That's double whammy, man. You want some cough drops, some peppermints? Yeah. Get my baby some water, god dang it. <laughs> of course you did. You're just close. Watch her boobs, though. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. How can you even say that? You don't know if that's going to be the same way. It could be completely different, babe. There's a big possibility that you could. I mean, I don't think you would have like a. I mean, you could have your deep voice that you use your uh, so you used in freaking Aquadama Drive, but I don't know, babe.
And yeah, you might be somewhere like Miyamoto. You know, Miyamoto had, well, Miyamoto in deep, in deep voice. And then he has long ass hair, yes. But then he cut his hair. He cut his hair! Oh my god. moments of screen time in this second half because in the first half he was like barely there but I get it. I, I love how he just like wants to get a cute little mentor to him. Okay. Yes. Seeing these two hang out together at her place was really nice. It was like the cherry on top of a good behind Sunday and everything. Even though her mom comes home and instead of telling the truth they lie and be like no it's cheap girl <laughs> I just I would like okay see if it was me in that situation I would just be honest and truthful and be like hey this is what happened so that like it doesn't get awkward because then when your parent finds out then it's like oh yeah broke my trust da -da 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 yeah the the thing is that a parent will always say is like I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed. And hearing that, that already hurts a lot more. Like, ugh, there's, a, there's a different level when a parent says, like, I'm disappointed. No way. Okay. But it was my choice. I'm just saying. But no, I, like, really, let's talk about Yamada again. I love the fact that it's like she, with all these things that she's done as a kid and now she's a teenager and she is in this career of, you know, being a model and, you know, being in the entertainment series and such, um, I mean, industry and everything. We don't know, like, if she's going to continuously thrive in this. That's the biggest thing. And it's always like, I, I get it where she's like, I don't know what else I could possibly almost, like, do after this because I think we all have that some type of way or form and such where we, despite however old you are and such, you can be at a moment where you still feel stuck. You don't know really what you want to do as a career because nothing really interests you. Yeah, I'm talking about me. Um, or some things have interest me, but it's just, like, I don't follow through on them and such. Um, of course, like the last biggest thing that I did while I was in high school, I think that there was two things I did. So I tried to do, um, the career that my mom currently is right now. My mom is, like I said, she's a CNA. She works at a hospital and stuff. Um, but I, I didn't study the greatest for the test and I completely bombed it. Um, and it got to a point where... Should I say this? Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. I'm trying not to cry while saying this too. Um, someone close to me, family member, let's say that, family member, I'm not gonna say exactly who, it wasn't my mom, um, said something to me that really, really hurt my feelings. And I, I haven't, the last time I saw the family member, um, just really saw him but like a couple weeks ago and even till now it still hurts to just be around him because that's all I initially think about and such and the biggest thing is you never really want to hurt your child's feelings um, and such really bad to the point that like that relationship that you have with your child kind of just shatters 
and such and you feel like there is no relationship between you and you know child um so now I just feel like I am like uh, that's why I really don't call him as much that's why I'm very much like oh I'll call him like once in a blue moon be like hey how you doing and whatever um I try to like be extremely positive just like her I I do overthink a lot of things myself where I'm as an adult you're gonna overthink a lot and such growing up and being an adult like <laughs> there's so many things even now that like my mom is teaching lessons on me about and such and then I'm like oh, I don't feel like hearing that bullshit <laughs> or my biggest thing is you know and and I think a lot of people can relate to this and such when you're having a conversation with your parents and it could be very fun and then it goes from fun to being very freaking serious in like two seconds or a life lesson story and you're sitting here like yeah 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 but in your mind you're like oh my god please like i i don't want to hear another life lesson story and such um but there are always reasons to hear things like that or how like my mom likes to say like you don't like to like you don't want to shut me up and da, 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 you want to have me keep talking in your ear until x y and z and even now at the age that I still am even though yes I love doing YouTube and I would love for my channel to go back to when I had 10 fucking k I, I literally got to 10 fucking k before my first channel like bombed because of fucking YouTube fuck you YouTube um due to a series or series that I reacted to due to copyright infringement and stuff but now it's almost like very similar that YouTube is now very much on a softer note with newer people with reaction series or just newer people who are becoming YouTubers in general and such um I have been told this from the beginning that my my channel and I think we talked about this with um episode zero and episode one of season two last week my channel is like the underrated channel and such um and, and i'm okay with that once again i i'm not like a, I can't think of big reaction youtubers and such but i'm like if we're looking at normal ones i'm not like the big ones out here i'm still regardless with even though I, I like to say we're at 15k in my opinion because that dream did not fucking die we're at 10k i mean 15k even though it says i'm at like five something k for this new channel we don't talk about that we made it to 15k mother effers um i'm so proud of what i have done and what i have accomplished and still that like it, it is so weird to just say that yeah I am famous like ish <laughs> because I, I never would have thought in like my wildest dreams and I love that even till today I am still accomplishing that and such but it's like because I have that and because that's my number one my big plan but because of the fact is that doesn't bring in like you know the big big things like I, I wish I could monetize like any of these videos but because of the fact is the situation of it it's not gonna happen for me um so that's why, like, my other income besides working there is Patreon and stuff. If some mysterious work of actions and stuff made me hugely popular AF to the point that I could literally find a company who would literally want to sign me and be like, hey, you get this. This is how much of your cut we get. This is how much cut we get. Of course, you get more than me. I would take that ish in a freaking heartbeat and I'd be like, hey, yo. <laughs> I'd be going to my job like, hey, yo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and such. But no, we, we don't really live in that reality and such. And so, of course, you just got to find like your other ish. So, I mean, I, there are some things that I am truly interested in and stuff. But I think in the end, your, your girl's going to go to school. Even though I don't want to. I really don't want to spend another four years of my life, like, in school again after high school, even though I'm, like, 30. But, um, I think college will be good for me. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. But no, I had to say that. But yeah, I definitely sympathize with how Yamada definitely felt, felt in that moment. So, because, I, like I said, we all get those moments. And it happens. You, you have that early, early, like, midlife crisis and stuff. Or sometimes you could be having it in your early 30s now. Do I think I'm having it right now? Probably not. Um, 
but it's just always, you know, make yourself the number one. Got it? You're number one. You're the baddest of the baddest. If you need some words of encouragement, you can always come to me. I'm always on Twitter. <laughs> Either on Twitter or my Snapchat. Literally, I will literally just give you words of fucking encouragement if you ever need something. Always fucking hit me up regardless. Mm -hmm, yes. But, gotta pause the video and I will see you guys in a sec for episode three. Okay, episode three in three, two, one, go. Girl. True, yes, chocolate is the king of snacks. That, and you know, you know, like the Bistoff cookies are just, oh my god, cookie butter. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's an opinion. But yeah, cookie butter, cookie butter is good. Mm -hmm. Cookie butter is the shit. Like, oh my god. Spread, I was like, okay, the only time that I had cookie butter, um, I had two different kinds. I went to, I think, either Walmart or Walmart, Target, or a Sam's Club. Uh, no, it was a Sam's Club or, or BJ's, um, the BJ store. Um, they were doing, you know, how, like, some stores, like, you do the sample thingies or whatever, so they did a sample on, like, the Bistoff cookies and everything. So they took the Bistoff cookie dipped it in the cookie butter or smeared it with the cookie butter and then like you know handed it out the best thing in the world oh my god yes um and then one day i was at walmart and i saw like you know a off-brand version of it and i was like oh my god i want this i'm gonna take it home right so i had it i think with um some strawberries or something and bruh Best thing in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, imagine if y'all would have had cookie butter. Oh, girl, me. <laughs> That'd be her life. Fucking cookie butter. <laughs> cookie butter. Yes. Girl, you don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, mm -hmm, go home. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Girl, you already eating the damn chocolate. What the hell wrong with you? Oh, no. 
this. Just say you're friends. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we just also talk about the fact that they use Bay in here? Bruh, oh my god. Yeah, mom, go 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 sit down. Go watch some TV. Right, just stay over there. <laughs> the adults are talking. Hmm. I'm tall as fuck. Uh huh. Yes, me with my toy friend. Yeah. Sure. There you go. No. You just kind of wish she would just read the room, girl. Yamada. <laughs> the daggers. The daggers she just sent to him. Ooh, girl. Is you me? Oh my god!
But seriously, Yamada, is you me? Am I you? Because we, we acted very similar. Girl. But there was, honey. There always was. Bye. No, oh, it's already awkward. Oh my god. No. I mean, he got a nice voice, though. I was like, hey, how you do with me? <laughs> right? 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 Damn, that's it? <laughs> Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, sir, you got that copy of Stellar Blade. I mean, that comes out by the 26th of this month. But, you know, if you got it now, let's go. I'm ready to play. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm over here playing Tekken. <laughs> Okay, um...
Yeah, but in a way, you were kind of making a point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her friends. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, your dad is hot as fuck. I mean, who your dad voice by, man? <laughs> we just want to ask some questions real quick. You know, I need to know. Inquiring minds, yeah, how you doing? Need to know. Well, yeah. That'll be me on vacation. Like, oh my god, what are you doing? I am fucking lit. I'm gonna be drunk. Semi, semi. You're gonna have limits. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, aren't you? I mean... But honey, you're not going to know until you ask. You just have to try. No. At least he's very honest with himself and like 120 or just a thousand percent with himself. He's like, she's the only one for me. There is no one else. I don't think so. She cares too much about you. <laughs> so cute. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Aww. You gotta fucking tell her. You have to tell her. <laughs> I, I know, I don't think that had any alcohol in it either, but I think he's just really 
He's sure about this. This is what he wants. Oh. Hold up, hold, what the, what the, what, 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 uh, uh, they, you know what, he is a different type of boy, I, I mean, we're only three episodes into season two, and this is a, he's a completely different boy that we saw from season one, this is, this is a man, he knows exactly what the fuck he wants, and he's going to do everything in his fucking power to fucking get that ish. We love that. I love that, please. Like, I, I love when guys are just, they're so fucking sure about who they want as their person. And they will go out of their fucking way just to do everything for that person and such. And so... Once again, this is coming from a woman who fucking loves love, but has, like, the worst in the fucking love department. Like, yeah. So, I'm like, oh, my God, I love this. This is so freaking cute. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, my fucking God. You fucking... <laughs> but it's okay. I'm a bad bitch. That's what I am. I am going to be like that for the remainder of my fucking days. Yes, I can have a guy with me on the side, too. There is... There's nothing wrong with me having a guy in my life. And yes, I do want that. But once again, as I've said for like a while now, I am okay being the fuck by myself and being an independent bad bitch because that's what we want. That's what we want. I mean, at least like, okay, I, I will, I'll be very like honest about this. Let's say like if I start streaming again, because that is something that I am like in the works of thinking about because I know some of you guys and girls are majority of you always loved when I did streams, whether it was me just us just talking for fucking hours, <laughs> which we did. Um, or if I was playing, I was gaming something like playing anything on PlayStation or some shit like that. I don't know. Cause like, maybe I'll just like sit and play. I might do still I really, but I don't really know. Cause I kind of want to play that by myself. Yes, Cause that comes out the day I got to go to work and I might ask if I can get that day off and such. I don't know yet. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I really love her dad. Her dad is... Her dad, you know what? Yo, let's go. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just go ahead and look this shit up now because if I don't, I'm gonna fucking forget... Cause the same thing with the uh with the uh, what's his face, let's see, no 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 no, not dad not dad. Okay, so who is Lucifer voiced by? Of of course that's Jim Fukuyama. I should have. I, I okay Yuki. Okay, okay. <gasps> <gasps> I should have known it was him. I should have freaking known, but I was just like, yeah, I was like, mm. Mm-hmm. Distracted by the hotness and just not not really sitting and listening to the damn voice. The fact is that it's him. Wow. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 well. All right. Is there any other episodes in the second season where her daddy pop up? Because that's not her dad anymore. That's mine. Because, <laughs> oh. Yeah. How we doing today? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem. But that's okay. We all have problems. 
But no, like, seriously, this was a sweet episode. I love the fact that like, she invites him. And all the girls get there and just like, <laughs> you know, what you doing here? And you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not supposed to be here. Mm, didn't read the room. I'm crying. Let me go home. But I love the fact that it's like he looks at the text message, it, like basically indicating like, yeah, you're here tomorrow, 2 p.m. You show the F up. We're going to have a good time. I, I love the fact that, you know, um, her friend was really like, okay, yeah, no, this is my boo. This is my bae. And, and she's over here like, yeah, we got to make up a story in this. But poor Yamada, like, uh, baby was getting hella jealous. And I, I, won't, I, I ain't going to blame her because I think if I was in the same situation, I would too. Especially if it's someone who, a guy that I have a crush on. I, I would probably not be like. See, depending on my mood and how I am, like, once again, shy girl right up in here, um, I'm either going to do one of two things. I'm going to confront you, depending on my mood, or I'm just going to be like, hmm, just, you know, uh, send the daggers away, because that's my best way of telling you I am pissed at you without me actually telling you I am pissed at you, aka Yamada. That's why I feel like we, we, me and her, we the same fucking bitch, like, girl. Except you, you know, you're in junior high school and I'm a woman, so, but girl, girl, I understand you. I sympathize with her. Damn. But no, that was so sweet. <laughs> I that her dad and him games and then she comes in too. And her mom's sitting on the side. They look like the cutest little family. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't with this show oh my god i love everything about it just it's everything i need right now but once again the fact is that he is a thousand percent sure about being in love with this girl wanting to be with her wanting to spend the rest of his life with her and that he is going to try to do i can once again now see as when i did the you know the um the podcast where season one is like i'm not really sure about this but when you're getting towards the end of season one, going into the OVA, going into season two, and how their dynamic shifts and where it's like, oh, I'm really into this girl and such. Just him confessing, like, I want to I wanna be your boyfriend. Like, sweetie, that's so fucking cute, sweet diabetes. Oh, my God. Like. Oh, kill me now, <laughs> please, because I can't with this show anymore. It's just, it's everything, fucking everything. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes two and three of season two of The Dangers in My Heart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Maxwell Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next, what? No, Thursday. Next Thursday for everybody else for episodes four and five. Until then, I will see you guys on the next time. Bye.